Hey there, it's Rory. Today we're going to show you how to troubleshoot and replace a flipper mullion on a Whirlpool built French door refrigerator. The flipper mullion may need to be replaced if it's no longer flipping open or closed correctly, or if it's not heating and moisture is forming on it. Whether you have experience working on appliances, or if this is your first time, we're here to help you get the job done. If you want to see more of our step-by-step -step appliance repair tutorials, hit the subscribe button and click the bell to turn on notifications so you'll see our newest videos. With over 2 million products in stock and the know-how to help you do it yourself, we are AppliancePartsPros.com. Before we get started, let's get our tools together. Today we'll need a multimeter, a nut driver, and a flathead screwdriver. To remove the flipper mullion, whether for testing or to replace it, First, we'll need to make sure the fridge is disconnected from the power supply, then open the left-hand refrigerator door. We need to make sure the mullion is flipped to the open position, since this will give us access to the mounting screw holding the middle hinge of the mullion to the door. We need to use a quarter-inch nut driver to remove that screw. Now, push the mullion upward from the bottom to take it off of the upper and lower mounting tabs. Once you've done that, push the mullion away from the door and remove the middle cover that was held by that screw we took out earlier. This will expose the mullion's connector, which we're going to disconnect. Now that we have the flipper mullion off, we can set it down and grab the multimeter. Set the meter to read resistance in ohms, which has a symbol that looks like an upside down horseshoe. Then place the leads in each of the terminals going to the mullion. On this model, we should be seeing about 20 to 30 ohms. If the reading you get is out of range, then the mullion will need to be replaced. If the mullion is reading in range, we can check for voltage to it. But before we do that, I would like to remind you that extreme care should always be taken to protect against electrical shock, which could potentially result in serious injury. Please do not test live voltage if you are uncomfortable using a multimeter around live voltage. If you're comfortable testing live voltage, go ahead and plug the unit back in. Then clear the PO or PF message on the display. Press and hold the two buttons furthest to the left along the bottom of the user interface. We should see a countdown from three if done correctly and then the display should be flashing 01. Now press and release the fifth button from the left, which should have a plus sign above it to advance to test 35. Test 35 runs the vertical mullion heater. If the display doesn't flash 01 when we come to this test, then press the options button to switch it to 01 from 02. Now set the meter to read DC voltage and place your leads in the connector coming from the door. We should be getting about 12 to 15 volts DC here. If you don't get this result, then the user interface in the door will need to be replaced. If you're getting the proper voltage and the mullion tested in range, press the fourth button from the left on the UI, which should have a minus sign over it. This will take us down to test 34, which can allow us to change the mullion's heating mode. The default setting for the mullion is 01, which runs the heater according to information given by sensors in the unit. Press the options button to switch to 02 which will make the mullion heat at all times. If you do this and there's still moisture forming on your mullion, then there may be an issue with the door gaskets or possibly voids in the insulation within the doors. If you found out that the flipper mullion needs to be replaced, let's walk through the steps to swap it out. Here's the old flipper mullion and here's the new one. If you've already got one, great. If not, you can pick one up at appliancepartspros.com. First, we need to make sure the fridge is unplugged from the outlet or turned off at the breaker. Then connect the mullion heater harness to the harness coming from the door. Now position the mullion to line up the center cover and the upper and lower tabs. Then we can slide the mullion down and make sure all mounting points are in place. Once you reinstall the screw holding the center cover to the door, you're done. Don't forget to plug your fridge back in or flip that circuit breaker back on. Great job! Once you've found the faulty part, whether it was a flipper mullion or something else, grab your model number and head over to appliancepartspros.com to order a replacement. This should arrive in just a few days. After you get your new part, we'll walk you through the installation with our video guides. Share your repair experience with us by leaving a comment below. And if this video helped you, hit the like and subscribe buttons to see more videos like this. Thanks for your support, and we'll see you next time.